Service Employee International Union Executive Vice President Mary Kay Henry became the union's new boss shortly after Andy Stern abruptly resigned. But in life, there's a time to learn, a time to lead, and then there's a time to leave. And shortly it will be my time to end my SEIU journey. Some claim this indicates an SEIU shakeup. Actually, it's nothing more than an SEIU insider's game of musical chairs resulting in little change. The atmosphere surrounding Henry's coronation masks serious concerns about her and SEIU's ongoing agenda, including massive mobilizing around Obamacare and SEIU's forecast for 21.1 million forced unionism health care worker conscripts. Mary Kay Henry's own desire to push government-imposed forced unionism forward seeps through the underwhelming speech that she gave after officially becoming SEIU's president. I hereby declare that Mary Kay Henry has been elected by acclamation to fill the vacancy in the office of international president. This moment has been a call to action at every level of our union. Every one of us wants the union to be a force for change in workers' lives. The time to organize is now. When the nation of immigrants seeks to criminalize and disenfranchise new immigrants, the time to organize is now. When public workers are being scapegoated, the time to organize is now. When healthcare workers get ready to care for 33 million more Americans, the time to organize is now. When property service workers want to unite security officers and contracted out workers to join our movement. The time to organize is now, when South-Southwest states will increasingly drive our national politics, and we have to make good on our imperative as a union to help workers form organization in the South and Southwest. And it is imperative that we include them in this incredible vehicle for change that we've created. Are we ready to organize? Yes. Yeah. Are we ready to organize? Yes. Yeah. Se puede? Si se puede. Se puede? Si se puede. Thank you all very much. However deficient Mary Kay Henry's oratory skills may appear, her intentions to further radicalize the union movement and the American economy are clear. With hundreds of millions of dollars in union dues and fees flowing into SEIU's treasury, she clearly has the financial fuel needed to fund her mission. As Andy Stern may have sensed, there is trouble on the horizon because SEIU's preferred method of forced unionism and membership growth is being challenged by several victims and their attorneys from the National Right to Work Legal Defense Foundation. But Harris says it's Governor Pat Quinn who needs help communicating his message to parents like her. I can't imagine that he even thought of this as being people and families. Harris is one of about 3,000 personal support workers in Illinois. They receive state funding to care for developmentally disabled individuals in their homes. In her case, it's her son, Josh. In June, Governor Quinn signed this executive order, which for the first time authorized collective bargaining by these workers. Now, she and other parents working as caregivers could be forced to join a union. Union. Harris had heard nothing about Quinn's decision. I don't rock the boat. I just do my very best to make sure my son has a busy and meaningful life. But now she and others were the target of a heated organizing campaign. When my doorbell rings at 11.30 on a Sunday morning and there's two people with purple shirts standing out there, one from California and the other from Virginia, that's an invasion of my privacy. If foundation attorneys prevail in their recently filed legal suits exposing and challenging the fraudulent practice of requiring non-state employees to pay union fees, then tens of thousands of home care providers who were forced into labor unions by gubernatorial and legislative fiat may soon have some relief. A New York Times headline touted Henry's ascension as, quote, grassroots choice leads race for top union posts, close quote. But the Times never bothers to investigate the real truth. And that is that the SEIU is not a grassroots friendly organization and its growth cannot be attributed to feel good union organizing drives. Is that we really needed to redouble our efforts in returning to the, the most profound work that our union does, right? And what is that? Organizing. 
Mary Kay Henry may get credit for SEIU's membership growth over the last 10 years, but that growth did not come from the grassroots. It was forced from the top down. For example, from 1996 to 2007, SEIU claimed 900,000, quote, new members, close quote. And Mary Kay Henry's healthcare division accounted for almost all of this growth. Perhaps this earned her the recent press accolades referring to her as a grassroots organizer. But looking at the underlying sources of SEIU membership growth provides an excellent picture of how SEIU organizes, and more proof that SEIU and the Lavender Labor Boss are in reality antithetical to the customary meaning of grassroots organizing. Nearly 200,000 of SEIU's 900,000 new members came through a 1998 merger with a pre-existing union, an old New York hospital local, 1199. Another 200,000 that SEIU counted as new recruits were not members, but were actually federally forced agency fee payers to the SEIU. SEIU included 35,000, quote, members who were actually retirees. And almost 500,000 of SEIU's touted new members were home care, home child care, and similar quasi-public workers previously treated as independent contractors. SEIU's politically forced union servitude is easily granted by politicians voluntarily succumbing to SEI union boss demands. Former Illinois State Senator and now President Barack Obama is one such politician obligated to the SEIU. In his book, The Audacity, Obama proudly boasts of his SEIU obligation. The leaders of several of the largest service workers unions, the Illinois Federation of Teachers, SEIU, AFSCME, Unite HERE, chose to endorse me support that proved critical in giving my campaign some semblance of weight. So I owe those unions. When their leaders call, I do my best to call them back right away. I don't consider this corrupting in any way. I don't mind feeling obligated. If you think back, since the, 20, the 08 convention in San Juan where we adopted Justice for All, mm -hmm. we then went full tilt boogie into Obama mode. That's right. Remember that? Yes. And that was considered a part of reaching our justice for all goals. But And then we moved to trying to do a national campaign to win health care reform and employee free choice. So the attention of the organization at every level was focused on let's see if we can drive transformational change. As SEIU president Mary Kay Henry will no doubt enjoy the same political access afforded the old boss, Andy Stern. Mary Kay Henry has been playing the political game of forced unionism for decades, and she will continue to use SEIU's political incentives and disincentives. Stern referred to this as, quote, the power of persuasion and the persuasion of power, close quote. Soon, SEIU will return to business as usual by creating new trusteeships, forcing mergers, harassing anyone it deems necessary, and continuing its relentless political activities. SEIU President Mary Kay Henry has already played a part in SEIU and Company's shutdown of downtown Washington streets, as you'll see in this clip videotape. Every worker and our families have had it with this broken system. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. SEIU and company stormed the front of a home of one of its targets. Unfortunately, it was the son of SEIU's intended target of intimidation who was home alone and received the brunt of their trademark intimidation tactics. Don't let SEIU's new shade of lavender and laces fool you. Henry is as rough as any other big labor boss. She has played major roles in expanding force unionization and she will continue using SEIU's radical methods unless politicians, taxpayers, and the very workers that Henry claims to represent push back against SEIU's extreme agenda against individual workers and their rights. Meet the new boss. Same as the old.